what up what up what up you guys and welcome back to the channel now that you tuned in let's begin with infinite j's latest trend right now we got 46 equal 13 by samson it was a requested video and chances are you feel the same way i do Headphones check. Mic check. Headphones check. <sighs> I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries. And I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good. Right. Like, who does it? First time viewing this. First time hearing it. Knowing that I'm giving more but receiving less, it makes me feel humble. But I'm gonna stop with the sarcasm right there, cause I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Cause common sense motherfucker. Common sense motherfucker. Stay hydrated. And in daily life, is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Cause life is a bitch already as it is, and you don't need someone that's gonna make it worse. Ask me? Huh, I think we're fucked. Don't give me that look. Everything sucks. Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Do you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now. It sucks ass. You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the metaphors. <laughs> have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me. Yes, you have. It sucks ass. <laughs> wow. Think about that. Think about it. <laughs> Sucking you dry for every dollar. Wow. This guy, Samson. Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass. You can brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies, numbers don't. Well, you can't play huh. it and it isn't him. Well, who the fuck is it then? What jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at Conoco. I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying, now watch. Down so, yeah. He's speaking some truth around here. I was gonna touch touch on the fact that it's raining and in a black shirt you normally see raindrops before you sit on any other color shirt. I don't see it, but that has me thinking about, you know, getting it out the mud as well. You're gonna do it what it takes to get that point across with the visuals. You know what I'm saying? In the comment section, someone's gonna give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking steal. Too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target. So by the time I got done buying all this shit and filling up my car, I had way less than when I started. Now, I don't really call that saving. No, I call that losing money. It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? Also, I know people would say, no, it shows more on white, but that's if your shirt is drenched in water. But listen to what this guy's saying. I like it. Um, wait, Let me finish it. I'm just pissed off. This right. Inflation's fucked up. But True. I got to sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up. Mm. Stupid. Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle Houses start to close at 11. Dude, he can barely <laughs> talk and don't act like I'm being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Mm. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude. But the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to. Come on, man. 
Just watch a press conference. You'll see that Joe is all gone. He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on. And even then, he fucks that up. The whole thing is hella awkward. COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy. It's the goddamn teleprompter. It feels like we don't even have a leader. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a... And that's what I try to tell people. Like, although I don't know much about politics, I'm trying to get away from you, doing you steady, like moving closer to me, like school bag, bro, school bag, bro. I try to tell folks, bro, like presidents pretty much are just like they're the spokesperson. They're not sitting there ruling out every decision being made. They're giving documentations based on what the people want. And at the end of the day, he get enough votes brought to his attention or her to where they're just signing off on the dotted line to say, let's approve this act. And let's, you know what I'm saying, infiltrator, take forces or order out peace. Like, president not just sitting there on some George Washington Carver type stuff, six foot tall with a feather ink pen saying, I think I want to do this to the country today. Write it off. Let's clarify that. Let's process that through and make it happen. No, oh, man, most times presidents are, are actually leading the country. I'm not going to, no, I can't say that. Can't say that. But most times presidents are just doing a job, like getting things that have been presented to them as well. I don't, so let me not speak on that because I don't know all the basics to it that's the basics but yeah man presidents aren't calling out the shots they still have a boss too believe it or not believe it or not the debate and they're almost 90 look at him don't take it from me go listen to him it's not a rumor you gotta i mean the T -t 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 Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere. I'm getting an understanding as to why certain videos have been requested. This is actually me doing my homework and the simplest way possible. Granted, all the other stuff that I have going on, because um, I did check out uh, Let's Go Brandon. So, it's summing up a lot, especially now that we have a new artist who's touching on certain topics that are very relatable or similar to other individuals who's speaking on the same narratives that were killed the fucking gall then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be i swear the disrespect doesn't stop pick your fucking head up look at the women and men you killed i don't understand how anyone could even defend you still and if they do they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now pulling out was a good choice not the way you did it though kamala's probably sitting there like oh my god we did it joe speaking of her where she been through all these deadly days as soon as shit erupts and hits the fan kamala MIA, not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Mm. Just a talking head paired up with the walking dead. Now this young man, he's he's done his homework. He's he's very in tune. His ears are to the street. Message. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. And on top of all that, they put another ban on ammo. Trying to disarm Americans, but equip the Taliban like Rambo. You give them hundreds of thousands of military guns, but Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones. You put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people. You don't care about this nation. Fuck you. That's from me. Fuck you. That's from them. Fuck. 
Fuck you from everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Fuck mm. you from the men and women who died for this country. And fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on mm. Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump's agreements by your second day. So why is this one of the only fucking things you left Goodness. in place? No crosses to bear. No responsibilities, just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. Mm. I would say the blood's on your hands, but that's a lie because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time. Goodness. Yeah, breathe, brother. Breathe. It's a lot going on up there, man. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot. It's a lot going on, man. And it's a lot going on, man. Without this community, I wouldn't have known, man. But now I got the vigils. It was shown, man. We at the end of the video. That means it's gone, man. I would say I need to go home, man. Now, but um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, man, please leave your boy a like, man. Comment down in the description below what you guys would like to see next. Because I'm willing to put them out there. You know what I'm saying? I'll put the videos out there. We'll see what's going on. We'll dissect it. We'll talk about it. We won't have a discussion because it's only me talking about it until I get into the, you know, chat. And yeah, then we can talk. Cool. But that's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? We can highlight some stuff, get some clarity on things. We can wake some people up. You know what I'm saying? So also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are reaching our next milestone. And I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for that process. Y'all can see from the beginning to where we are now how we are treading through those muddy waters. So yeah, man, y'all just look at the process with me because I'm, I'm working it out with you guys and y'all working it out with me. And so there's an equal give and take situation right here going on. And if it's not, somebody speak up and I'll speak up if it ain't, of course, too. So, you know what I'm saying? It makes the world go round. Also turn on that post notification bell to stay tuned to more videos once this video is posted because you will be notified once you hit that post notification bell. Also, as always, I love you guys. It's your boy, Infinite J. Peace, love, respect, and positivity. God.